Uh, good evening. What inspired this video, I was talking to my sister, and I remembered a, a quote from when I was in practice uh, in Houston, Texas. And uh, you know, the story is a, a Russian-Jewish immigrant couple uh, were living in Texas and in the Houston area. And uh, she came in as a new patient, and they told me that she had almost drowned in her soup. And what had happened was she had a seizure kind of thing, fell face down in a soup, and her husband, I guess she had a great sense of humor, well, she did, I worked on her for a while, um, thought that she was just kidding around, and uh, pulled her out of the soup before she drowned. And they did some tests and discovered that she had a, a brain tumor. And she went to the medical establishment, and they said, well, we're going to cut her head open and take the tumor out. And her husband asked, you know, how is she going to be afterwards? And they said, what? And he said, what, is she going to be able to talk? And they said, well, we don't know. It's a delicate part of the brain. He said, walk, physical functions? We don't know. He said, so she could come out with no tumor, but she could be a vegetable. And they said, yeah, basically. The operation will be successful. We could lose the patient. Uh, so they decided uh, not to do the surgery and started looking for alternative stuff. They called a friend of theirs, a medical doctor, who I knew, and uh, he said, well, and this is a little self-serving, I apologize, but he said there's only uh, one person in town I know doing miracles right now. He's a chiropractor. His name's McKenzie. He's in Bel Air. He said, I don't have his number. So they looked up uh, McKenzie in the phone book, and my clinic was always listed under the Bel Air Chiropractic Clinic, so they couldn't find my number for a while. Uh, coincidentally, is that how life works? I don't know. But... Uh, Stan, the husband, was working for a company that was installing new phone systems. I had just had a new phone system installed in my clinic, and they asked me whether I was satisfied with it, and I said yes. And so then at the end of their prospectus, they put, you know, satisfied customers, I guess, and my name and clinic was in there. And so Stan was going through his prospectus. He looked at the bottom. It's Bell Air Chiropractic Clinic, Dr. McKenzie, and then my 6644432, I think, was my clinic number 713 on the front there. Uh, at any rate, uh, they came into my office uh, when they told me what was going on. I said, I don't know if I can help. I know that uh, if the body is aware that there's a problem, a lot of times it will heal it. And uh, we worked. I donated a fair amount of time to them because I was curious as to whether we could have any impact on it or not. Uh, we were sitting and talking one night, and Stan told me the story of how he got to me, that story of the doctor in Bel Air not having the number and then finding the number in a prospectus, I mean, completely, almost randomly, seemingly. Uh, but what he said at that time was, God does not have to hit me in the head too many times for me to see. <laughs> and I was talking to my sister today, and I remembered that quote because she had said something that set that quote off. Uh, Laura became asymptomatic. She refused to go for any more medical testing. Uh, I don't know where they are. I know that they moved from Houston. Uh, and, but uh, sometimes God does not have to hit me in the head too many times. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com